What are covalent bonds? By kscience.com Let's remind ourselves that ionic bonds exist between positively charged metal ions and negatively charged non-metal ions. Metal atoms will lose electrons to have a full outer shell and non-metal atoms will gain electrons to have a full outer shell. So covalent bonds are different. They exist just between non-metal atoms. To identify covalent bonding in any substance, you need to know where to find non-metals in the periodic table. This is the stepped line. Non-metals are found to the right and metals are found to the left. The box above is hydrogen, which is also a non-metal. So covalent bonds only ever happens between non-metal atoms found in this section here. If you ever see a substance with a metal atom in it, covalent bonding is not taking place. Pause the video now to use your periodic table to identify what type of bonding takes place in these substances. All six substances have covalent bonding. This is because they all contain non-metal atoms. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. The periodic table tells us hydrogen is a non-metal. Let's take a look at its subatomic particles to understand how a hydrogen atom forms a covalent bond with another hydrogen atom to form a hydrogen molecule. The atomic number tells us there is one proton, one electron, and then one take away one means there are no neutrons. This is the electronic configuration of a hydrogen atom. It shows one electron in the outer shell. The rule for electron shells is 2, 8, 8, 2. This means 2 electrons can fill the first shell, 8 electrons can fill the second shell, 8 can fill the third shell, and then up to 2 fills the fourth shell. So we can clearly see the hydrogen atom is unstable. Therefore we draw another one where we can see that both need 2 electrons for a full outer shell. As they just have 1 electron in their outer shell, both are not stable. To gain a full outer shell of electrons, both hydrogen atoms share their electron, where they now overlap and they are sharing a pair of electrons. The sharing of these two electrons is the covalent bond. They both now have a full shell of electrons in their outer shell, as they have two electrons each in their outer shell, due to them sharing their one electron. So the hydrogen atoms are now stable. This is the covalent bond, which can be defined as a shared pair of electrons. The molecular formula is H2, and the two tells us there are two atoms bonded. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. The definition you need to learn for a covalent bond is the shared pair of electrons. This is between non-metal atoms only found to the right of the stepped line in the periodic table. And this is done to achieve a full outer shell of electrons. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. So we know fluorine is a non-metal as it's to the right of the step line in the periodic table. It has 9 protons, 9 electrons and then 19 take away 9 means there are 10 neutrons. Fluorine is in group 7 so it has 7 electrons in its outer shell. However, it needs 8 electrons for a full outer shell. This fluorine atom is not stable so it will covalently bond with another fluorine atom to become stable. The single electron that each fluorine atom has, they overlap, so there is now a shared pair of electrons. There's now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 electrons around this shell, and then 1, 2, 3, 
four, five, six, seven, eight electrons around this shell, so both shells are stable. This is the covalent bond, which is a shared pair of electrons. It takes place in between the atoms and is very strong, which means a lot of energy is needed to break covalent bonds. The molecular formula is F2, where there are two atoms bonded. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.